Hello everyone, today we are going to see the introduction to CNC. Before discussing CNC machines, let us discuss what are machines and why the need of a CNC machine arrived or arised. Okay. In our day-to-day -day life, we see many machines around us. It could be a sewing machine, drilling machine, or a very complex automotive engines. The functions of all the machine is to reduce human effort and make our life easy most of the machines around us depends on the human mind or human movement for crucial decisions for example let us see one example that is in a case of a conventional drilling machine you have to stop the machine when drilling is completed this machine cannot determine by itself that whether the hole is drilled or not similar is the case of with other machines that we have to stop the machine after performing the operation the machine itself cannot find whether the operation is performed or not okay so this was happening so there is a basic problem with these machines and that is errors which is caused due to manual operation as we all know there are several problems with the human being we feel exhausted, we have emotions, and many people have inborn tendency to do errors. <clears throat> so, all of these above things forced the engineers to develop machines which can perform desired operation without human intervention. Okay, that means these all the things forced the engineers to develop a machine which it can perform all the, all the operations without any human interfere it is also desired that these machines should have high accuracy and should avoid any accident this is where the need of cnc machine arrived okay now let us see what is a CNC machine? So the word CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. In practice, the tool and workpiece both are controlled with the help of numerical program. The complete process of CNC machining depends on CAD and CAM. The word CAD stands for computer aided design whereas the word cam stands for computer aided manufacturing as we know the cad there are so many cad softwares are there the cad software as we know the katia solidworks solid edge nx creo there are so many softwares are available that is used to uh, make a 3d drawing 3d design or 2d drawings okay so with the help of CAD we make 3d design of the object which have to make and with the help of CAM that design is converted into reality <coughs> see in few years ago instead of the CAD software there was a drawing sheets were there and if suppose we were we want to change something then there was a lot of hectic to erase and draw but by using this CAD software whatever the correction if you want to make any correction you can make it in few in few minutes okay that's why again there is a saving of a time okay now we'll see the advantages of the CNC machines after that we will see the history so before see we the advantages modern day CNC machines are highly precise and can reduce the time to perform a job drastically so let us see the <coughs> advantages of cnc machining so the advantage is that first that is machining whatever the machining is there it is accurate okay whatever the machining is done by the cnc machine it is accurate and the time which is taken to perform a job okay the time which taken by the cnc machine to perform a job is also very less and it is also safe to operate 
okay as we have seen the cnc machine is completely enclosed okay so there is no any open like in conventional machines okay so it is safe to operate and number of operators required to operate the machines are reduced okay because in cnc machine you are supposed to only load and unload the job okay whatever the program is there it is only one time fed into the cnc machine and as we have seen that only loading and unloading is, is there so there is no possibility of a human error okay and again it is a reliable and even a very complex designs very complex design can also be made in cnc machine and it also required a low maintenance it is versatile and uniformity in the designs also last but the important advantage is that they could run for all 24 hours a day okay these are the advantage of the advantages of the cnc machine now let us see the further information regarding the cnc technology so the in cnc machine the instructions are stored as a program in micro computer which is attached to the machine refers to a computer controller that controls the movement of every axis of the machine okay and by using the codes that is g and m code instructions that we will see that by using these codes the movement is controlled that is the whatever the tools movement is there it is controlled that is it uh, drives the spindle or machine tool okay so due to that what happen a raw material is converted into a finished product or you can remove the unwanted material from the work piece with more accurately without any human intervention the computer will also handle much of the control logic of the machine making it more adaptable than earlier hardware controllers okay let us see the one here diagram that is as you can see the numbering is given over here first is part description second is nc that we will see one by one okay so first is that is the part description is there in part description there are the dimensions were given to the parts and the manufacturing notes were given in the part descriptions okay so wherever the part drawing is there in that part drawing the dimension is given and also the manufacturing notes is notes were given in the part drawing okay that is either machining how much machining is there or how much tolerance should be there which is given in the part description after that there is after part description the program is there that is there are two way first is in traditional way manuscript is there and second that is by using a pc okay by using a pc a nc program is generated for part manufacturing okay and after that after that the program is entered into a mc mc is nothing but a machine control unit in mc what it does program instructions okay whatever the program instructions is there it sent to the nc machines over here and in nc machines there are different tools are there to the tool holders and these are used to perform the operation or by using these tools the part is manufactured over here okay this is how the box further we will see one more sketch as we have seen in part drawing the dimensions are given over here in one of the example in one of the drawing and also in part drawing along with dimensions as i have earlier said to you along with dimensions tolerances and the manufacturing notes were given in the part drawing okay and obviously the part drawing is prepared 
with the help of the CAD software okay and after that after the part done it comes the part programming okay and this part programming is sent to the controller through program tape to the paper tape reader and this controller controls the movements okay so it sends to the motor through gearbox and to the table so it controls the movement okay now let us see the history of these cnc machines so the birth of nc is generally credited to john t parsons okay a machinist and sales at his father's machine company parsons corporation so so the nc machine is first of all is invented by or manufactured by a john t parsons person in 1949 u.s air force asks mit to develop a numerically controlled machine that are a programmable milling machine okay then i think there is mistakes in the uh, a year that was that should be in 1947 in 1949 using punched cards he was able to control the position of a machine in an attempt to machine a helicopter blade okay in 1949 what he did he used a punched card okay to machining a helicopter blade okay so further in 1952 prototype of nc machine is demonstrated that is by using a punched tape input okay and in 1959 machining centers and turning centers that could perform multiple machining processes was developed and further in 1980 the cnc machines that is by computer used to link directly to controller was developed and in 1990 the external component that is drip feeds control programmer to machine tool controller dnc was developed in 1990 and modern nc machines has a computer on keyboard computer numerical control they can run unattended at over 20,000 rpm that is spindle speed with a feed rate of of over 600 inch per minute and an accuracy of 0.001 inch okay this was the history of the cnc machine now let us see the information regarding nc machines okay so a control system which primarily processes numeric input okay but this is limited to programming capability at the machine tool also limited logic beyond direct input this type of systems are referred to as hardware controls and were popular from the 1950s to 1970 okay now here are the basic components of the nc system that is first one program second one mcu that is machine control unit and third one is a processing equipment in previous diagram we have seen that is program is made okay by using the pc and before that the part drawing after that part drawing the set of instructions were uh, after part after part drawing the part program was made okay and this part program is sent to the machine control unit okay and this machine control unit set uh, send the program instructions to the further machines or processing equipments okay and again after that it send send the feedback further to the mcu okay this is how the nc system works now let us see the cnc machine a numerical control system in which the a cnc is a numerical control system in which the data handling control sequences and the response to input is determined by an onboard computer system at the machine tool this is what the cnc system is in there okay now let us see further how it works as you can see over here 
ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द सी एन सी प्रोग्राम द प्रोग्राम इज सेंट टू एम सी ओ ओके द वॉट इज देंट द प्रोग्राम इज सेंट टू द एम सी ओ एंड एम सी ओ वॉट इट डज इट सेंस द कमांड टू एक्सिस एम्पलीफायर ओके द आफ्टर दैट इफ यू सी द टेबल मूवमेंट ओवर हियर ओके दैट टेबल मूवमेंट्स एक्सिस पोजिशन फीडबैक वॉज अगेन सेंट टू द एम सी ओ एंड द टेबल्स एक्सिस वेलासिटी फीडबैक इज सेंट थ्रू टैकोमीटर टू द एक्सिस एम्पलीफायर एंड वॉट एवर द वोल्टेज इज देयर इट्स सेंट फ्रॉम ड्राइव मोटर टू द एक्सिस एम्पलीफायर सो दिस होल सिस्टम इज अ एक्सिस ड्राइव सिस्टम इज देयर ओके नाउ लेट अस सी फर्दर द सी एन सी एप्लीकेशंस सो टू मैन्युफैक्चर कॉम्प्लेक्स कर्ड जोमेट्रीज इन टू डी और थ्री डी वॉज एक्सट्रीमली एक्सपेंसिव बाय मैकेनिकल मीन्स विच यूजली वुड रिक्वायर कॉम्प्लेक्स जिग्स टू कंट्रोल द कर्डर मोशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज इफ वी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म अ ड्रिलिंग ऑपरेशन टू एक्यूरेट इट नीड जिग्स फिक्सचर्स सच कॉम्प्लिकेटेड पार्ट्स फॉर सपोर्टिंग और होल्डिंग द वर्क पीस सो This can be reduced by using the CNC ablation. Okay. Also, what are the parts which are going to repeat again and again, or perform to machining again and again? There should be accuracy. So in CNC, there is there is a repeatable accuracy for machining the components. Okay. And it is also unmanned machining operations. okay this is what the cnc application is in there and let us see the further application okay now further there is a it can be used for 2.5d but before that 2d contouring is there that is it continuously feed only in Two axes simultaneously. That is two D contouring, and two point five D. That is any two of the three can be controlled continuously. Okay, and that is any two of three axes can be controlled simultaneously. And in three D contouring, it is capable of synchronizing three axes simultaneously. That is X Y Z that we will see, and. Further, in four-axis machining, apart from three regular axes, fourth axis is rotary axis. Okay, and five-axis machining, it incorporates three regular and two rotary axis. Okay, and also further, it uses in turning, that is lathe turning centers. Further, in milling machines. Okay, and further, we will see. the cnc applications that is forming 2d 3d plasma and laser cutting blanking needling and punching and rapid prototyping now further see the types of cnc machines let us see one by one so this is a cnc turning machine you can see over here as cnc 2000 this is a model of cnc 2000 as you can see over here only one operator can produce n number of products by un using this cnc machine only one operator is required so only the role of the operator is to load and unload the job okay there is no need to control the movement of the machine by holding the hand handle extra time which is required in traditional machining processes okay then second we will see one more turning machine and you, uh, further you can see over here that is you can close the further front door is there so it is also safe to operate okay this is 
one more CNC turning machine with slant bed. Further, we will see the another application that is CNC milling. Okay, this is the CNC machine uh, milling machine. You can see next machine is CNC machining center. It is horizontal axis and also next is a coordinate measuring okay and it is also a cnc coordinate measuring further that is cnc etm wire cut Next laser cutting is there, CNC laser cutting. There is no any intervention of a human over here. Just their job is to load and unload the component. Next you can see the plasma cutting. Further, we will see the press machine, CNC press. Okay, so as I have said you already, that is the role of the human is only to low. Uh, first, that is program. Okay, to do the programming, and once you enter the program, even though you can put over there or uh, unskilled labor, whose only the role is to load the job and unload okay next machine is rapid prototyping machine now as you can see in rapid prototyping the cnc also uses now let us see the cnc machine axis of motion okay so here you can see the axis of a motion this is most important okay if you observe if a man is standing over here but let us before that let us see the example of this turning okay as you can see over here the machine axis is nothing but a z axis okay and vertical movement is a y direction and the axis the turning axis okay machines horizontal axis is nothing but a z direction see in the diagram the right hand gesture okay the y is nothing but vertical movement and x is always horizontal remember that z is machine's axis position x is always horizontal direction and y is always a vertical direction in case of turning machine why you can say either vertical or the remaining direction as you can see over here in uh, in left side over here let us say in this drilling machine if you observe the machine axis is uh, in z direction and as i already said you that always horizontal axis is a uh, x axis so for the machines axis is z axis okay whatever the these drilling machines axis is z its movement is in z direction and the horizontal direction that is x direction 
that I have already said to you and uh, y is a remaining direction always there is a or you can say there are three directions okay x y z and also three rotary directions are there okay Also, you can see over here there are many directions that is I have already said to you. Three x y z direction that is three positive direction, three negative direction, and also three axis clockwise direction and anti clockwise direction. Okay, and you can see in next slide. Okay, x y z axis their positive direction, negative direction, and a b c or x y z their clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction okay now let us see the CNC machine control okay so here you will see the CNC motion control so CNC's motion controller are point to point motion straight cut motion countering motion searcher okay these are the motion control of a CNC machine. So first there is a point to point motion. Okay. This you can see normally in a drilling operation where you are supposed to perform from point to point the drilling operation. Okay. Let us see the further description of this point to point motion that is the cutting tool is more relative to the workpiece that is either the cutting tool moves or the workpiece moves until the cutting tool is at a numerically defined position and then the motion is paused okay the cutting tool then performs an operation okay when the operation is completed the cutting tool moves related to the workpiece until the next point is reached and the cycle is repeated the simplest example of point to point numerical control machine tool is NC drilling machine okay as we have seen that let us see the again example of a drilling machine drilling machine is where you are supposed to move the either tool or the workpiece only from point to point okay so this is the what point to point motion let us see the second motion that is straight cut motion okay so here straight cut systems are capable of moving the cutting tool parallel to one of the major axis at a control rate suitable for machining it is appropriate for performing milling operations to fabricate workpiece of rectangular configurations straight cut NC systems can also perform point to point operations see uh, as in point to point motion we have seen the example of a drilling machine here the example comes the milling operations okay in milling machine by using a cutter you can perform you can move the cutting tool which is parallel to one of the axis okay as we move the cutter that is parallel to one of the axis either x y or z which in which is in a control rate for a machining operation okay now let us see the third motion that is contouring motion okay in contouring it is nothing but a continuous path operations the tool is cutting while the axis of motion are moving the axis can be moved simultaneously at different velocity the path of the cutter is controlled to the to generate the desired geometry of the workpiece in countering nc in countering nc you can see is a continuous path operation okay 
as you can see in point to point in point to point there is no inconvenience only from point to point he adds you you are supposed to perform a drilling operation so only point to point you are supposed to move your cutting tool okay and in straight cut motion you are supposed to move the cut cutting tool which is parallel to one of the major axis either to x axis or y axis or z axis in a control rate but here in countering motion the tool is continuous moving okay and this axis can be moved simultaneously at a different velocity but if you see here there are two axis countering okay two axis countering with switchable plane that is two axis contour milling and then another figure the three axis contouring continuous path is there okay if you see only in two direction the cutting operation is performed over here but in second figure the three axis continuous path is over there okay so today we will stop over here to uh, next time we will see the advantages of nc machine disadvantages of nc machine some programming basics cnc programming and some key letters and if possible we will see the g codes and m codes in next lecture thank you